Well, good evening to you. It's World Party Day, April the 3rd, as well you know. Maidstone United season has seemingly been one long party with the FA Cup run, bringing international prominence and acclaim. A record 28th Kent Senior Cup final awaits in two weeks' time and a probable playoff campaign that hopefully ends in promotion on well, bank holiday Monday, May 6th. Now, just 33 days away. Like any good party, you should cram a lot into a very small time frame and these next 33 days could produce many more party moments. And if you have a party, you need a DJ with records. Talking of which, John Crowther is with me to help me spin the decks this evening and keep the party going. Bone just about keeps possession by leaving it for Corn to take over with unintentionally. Corn down that left hand side. Back to Rush to Ezanolim. Lots of players forward for Maidstone, but no one in a position of any real threat. Tanga is taking up a position, hugging this right touch line once more, and he does receive it from a pyre now. 20 minutes gone. Tanga plays a 1 2 with Fall. Tanga might be in behind here. And you get his shot away, he's just dragged it wide on the far post. Got the first real chance for either side on 20 minutes there, John. Yeah, uh, that's where we need to see him in that position more, Tenga. Uh, facing goal, running down uh, opposition. It's not someone that scores very often for it's, Arsenal. It's not one who plays very often for Arsenal either, to be fair. But I think that's them top of the Premier League for now. I think City play in the later kickoff this evening Corn gets a ball back rush to Tanga across the box Ooh. and Fahl puts it into the side netting but it's deflected wide for that corner so foul shot may well have been on target but it's a taunting toe end of some description it's getting getting that way up here to be fair because they say hot air rises but uh, I don't think that scientist who come up with that has, has been to Gloucester on a Wednesday night in April as Fahl is motoring down that left-hand side and it's a poor pass back by Ball who's got Rush one-on-one -on -one with the keeper he gets round his man and he's oh. unable to put it in the net and it's a goal kick in the end and Rush was absolutely gifted one by Ball there John and the ball's been dropped there by Rush in the end yeah I would have my money would uh, would have been on a on a Rush finish there um, did all the hard work was in a, a good position rounded the keeper but um, not the finish Bell taking on Tanga and Bone. AC with the ball cross field to the back stick. A man unmarked. Coming in at the back post. Kovalan has to punch away. Bounces over Tanga's head. Here's Bell. Fowler brings it out. Over halfway. Massive ball to the right hand side to Tanga. Three minutes left of the first 45. Gets inside of Bell. Onto the edge of the box with Fowler. Gets his shot Ooh. away into flex past the near post. Irish twisting and turning as that ball deflects from one direction to the other. Fowler's trying to change that. He's brought that ball forward to Bone on the left. Down the wing by Rush. Great ball into Ezanolim on space. This left hand side across Great the cross. box. And it's a header down by Tanga. And it's down into the ground. And Irish collects it well at the far post. That's, That's a great cross by Che. Very good and cross. And it deserved indeed. better in the middle, actually, to be fair. It did. You do have to head it back whence it came from, is usually the mantra from the coaches and the players. Abu once more with the ball spread to the left hand side for Bell to chase. Pye's going to keep him out there. Ball to the right hand side to Chamberlain in a lot of space. Might be Taunton's best foray of the evening so far. Tries to take on a Zenalim, gets the ball across the box. Tabu with a touch and a good clearance away by AC. Or AC shot rather. Foul tries to win the ball from Evans. Evans goes in for another challenge, loses possession. Foul 1 2 with Corn. Foul to the left hand side to Rush now. He's taking on James. Already on that yellow card. One of the last men back. Plays the ball to the right hand side to Bone. Tanga on the overlap. Restores it. And it's into Rush at the near post. Goes in for a challenge. It's deemed a foul in the end. He's unable to get there ahead of his man and get the ball. Instead, gets the man. And what could have been a good chance has led to Rush giving away a foul in the six yard box, John. Pretty much everything happened in that one move and one attempt there from Maidstone. Yeah, I like the uh, the attacking run off the ball from Bone and the ball was played out to him and in fact the overlapping player reached, <laughs> reached the ball ahead of... Back line to Fowler once more. He brings it forward towards halfway. He gets a ball into Tanga. Wins back possession eventually. Gurung with the ball down the right hand side over the top which Korn will chase. He does well to keep it in and it's past foul and it lands with Tanga lands with oh, bone left oh. but it smacks it into the side of a Taunton player there and a flag has gone up for a
penalty is it for a handball not sure exactly what's gone on here because the the linesman has put his flag up on the far side he's not put it across his chest for a penalty it's Bell who's on the floor Bones smashed the ball at him and now now the referee's got to go over to the assistant and clarify what exactly he's been awarded because he's pointed at the penalty spot he's now having a chat with the assistant on the far side Wee. that's a good one thanks welcome uh, Corn with a free kick to the right hand side knocked down and Ooh. foul with a chance over the crossbar and some action breaks out in front of us in the 61st minute there great knockdown just lent back there foul after an hour or so as a sudden splurge of connectivity comes to us and Said Ushain and Adam McSomething as they've broken down the left hand side here with Rush back line to as a no limb takes on his man gets it back to Rush ball to the back stick and it's cleared away Corn manages to get it back to Tanga very much alive with this one. Gurung with a chip to the back stick. Oh, it's in! He scored! And Maidstone United finally have the breakthrough. And it's Mo Fall who smashed it into the back of the net in 64 minutes. Gurung with a delightful chip for the right hand side. And Mo Fall, hot stuff, maybe this evening, has put Maidstone United finally in front here in Gloucester. I don't know what that technique was. I've not, I've not seen it. There was Swaz on Exotic. that one. There was swaz on that one, John. There was. Fantastic. It's been a swazzy goal. kind of evening, John. <laughs> it has. A swazzy kind of love, as Phil Collins once sang. And that is no more than what Maidstone United deserve. Kovland further back from him. So Fowler has enough space on halfway. Brings it up there. Goes past halfway. Now to the right-hand side with Corn with acres of space now. Maidstone finding some pockets of space. Tanga on the right. Tries to beat Chamberlain, comes inside to Guru and instead. Back to Fowler on halfway. Does have the feel of the Eastbourne game from Friday with Maidstone just keeping the ball and the nine men of Eastbourne just having to defend. Maidstone have got five men in an attacking line across the Taunton back line. Bone receives the ball on the left hand side. Oh. Fowler gets oh, inside his man, goes down just outside the box with Evans diving in on him. And Evans will go into the book for this one. Foul just running down that left-hand side. Evans puts the challenge in. It was close to the edge of box. It was on the edge. I could the understand. Outside. I mean, to be fair, the way Foul landed, um, without a VAR check, potentially you would see that he's landed up in the box. It's it's not far away from being a penalty, but it is on the cusp. It's right on the edge. I think he was hoping that momentum, etc. And Fall, he's got cheese swapping with Fall. Fall's come forward. <laughs> I think they're going to lay it off to Bone. <laughs> uh, the Taunton man's come forward to have a, have a join in with the chat there with Maidstone players there, which is nice of him to get involved. I think um, I'm seeing Bone. I'm seeing Tango laying it off to Bone. That's yeah, what I think. Bone's definitely there for a like looking cue. Way. Tango has gone oh. for a shot, and it's just wide. It's almost like they know, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's almost like they've heard me say it like 318 times perhaps already this season perhaps it says Maybe. a lot about having the, the, the technique you need to to score a direct free kick so corn on the far side arm up corner comes in in at the near post foul just misses it tanga heads it up in front of the 18 yard line they're all having a cozy chat on halfway and a they've managed to bring it back up higher in the end turn and play it back to Kovalan 14 minutes left of the game plus stoppages, Brown receives on halfway, bit of a hospital ball to Fowler up the channel to Rush good play well by done, Day Rushy. and Rush has been played even better because he's managed to get past him, Great ball. Bentley played down the left hand side, no flag, Bentley's in down the left hand side, oh. shot across goal foul, slams himself into the post ball doesn't go into the net because it's got past him before he can get a touch on it foul in the wars in the last few minutes put Maystone ahead could have killed the game off there two and a half of the six minutes played so far here at Gloucester it's torn to nil Maidstone United one in stoppage time Brown manages to shoulder it away from his opposite number Murray but Day's managed to get around the outside of him it's all the way across goal and no one from Taunton's there to do anything with it so launch this one in the box in right footed Brown heads away it's AC who has control out onto the left hand side 
with James. It's blocked. It comes back to AC. Fully 40 yards from goal. Chip to the back post. And there's a man free at the back post and made to nearly score an own goal. It was Ball who managed to head it across the box. And Maidstone have got it clear down the left-hand side. It's got to be cleared away. Brown does not swing for that one. He doesn't lash at that. He would have brought the player down. One minute of the six additional left to play. It's Day in possession in the centre circle. Tossed up to the back stick. As a Nolan manages to head it away. Possible handball not given. Brown flings himself at that one. It's now AC with the ball. Cole on the edge of the box who smashes it over halfway. Complaining about some detritus on the sideline that's going to trip him up. He takes the throw in up the halfway line. We're over the six minutes, six and a half minutes gone of stoppage time. Cole with the ball over the top. That will probably bounce nearly out of the stadium. No one of a Maidstone persuasion that fan-wise is going to help Irish get the ball. He's had to clear two hoardings. Gets the, the ball. National. It is. It is. Well, it's the Irish National, to be fair. And he's finally going to get the ball placed down in time. How much time is left on Callum Fisk's watch is the big question. Headed, just about kept in play. Gurung with a header on. AC with a challenge on Guru on Tanga that's deemed fit. Down the left-hand side goes Chamberlain. Cleared away by a pyre. And Maidstone United back into fourth in the National League South. Taunton stay in the drop zone. Final score here, Taunton Town nil. Maidstone United won. And relief for the Stones there to get back to winning ways and have their unbeaten run extended to six, John.